the FDA has put money into looking at clinical evaluation of, of kratom leaf. And so we finished one clinical trial with the FDA already that was what they call a, a dose range finding study or a single ascending dose study where they start with a very low dose. So we started with one gram of leaf material administered to healthy volunteers. Um, and then you look at all the safety data after that single dose was done. You look at what their blood chemistries were before or after. You look at what their subjective effect feeling was. Um, so we did one gram, we did two grams, we did three grams. And after three grams, there was no uh, effects still. People said that we don't feel like we're taking anything. That we don't feel like it's a drug. We don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. um, and so the FDA said, let's skip the next couple of doses and just jump up to eight grams of leaf material. And when we did that, then a couple of people said, yeah, I'm feeling something now. Mm -hmm. um, but they did not have any adverse event or what they ca considered a, a, a significant adverse event that they had to stop dosing. So we went from the 8 gram dose to the 10 gram dose to the 12 gram dose, which is the end of the study. Um, and again, I said the typical normal quote unquote dose or serving side is, is two to five grams of kratom leaf powder. So we went all the way up to 12 grams. Um, and what we saw in that cohort was some nausea and vomiting. Um, and we saw a small amount of pupil, um, shrinkage so this is a typical hallmark uh, opioid sign when someone's um, taking an opioid their pupils will actually shrink mm. uh, or contract and um, so it was mild it wasn't like someone was taking morphine or, or oxycodone to where they get very small pupils um, but the pupil diameter changed and that was that was one of the things we noted interesting and don't stimulants make people's pupils dilate right correct so so you get this opposite effects with those so what what that did the FDA actually ended <coughs> up ended up showing that kratom leaf, all the way up to 12 grams in a single consumption was generally well tolerated, right? Which I think surprised no, 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 no clinically significant event happened. Oh, that's wild. So that would include death, of course. Yeah. Um, but I think it surprised the FDA as well. Nobody's ever <laughs> died from kratom. Um, that's that's a very hard question to answer. Right, because um, I'm sure if there somebody could die and have kratom in their system and also have yeah. a slew of other things. Well, yeah, many of the deaths that have been attributed to to kratom have also um, contained multiple substances. I mean, we live in a society where people are generally not. Uh, if they're trying to get high or they're abusing substances, they're not using one thing. They're using right. many things. Right. Um, and they're using many things to counteract the effects of one or the other so they right. can get high and then come down fast yep. or whatever, right? And so we don't know how all those things play with each other as it is, mm -hmm. let alone in the presence of something as complex as kratom that has 40 different compounds in it as well, right? So um, this is this is problematic, but to to come out and generally state that no one could die just from kratom, I think is factually not not right either, mm -hmm. um, because you can die from anything if you consume enough of something, it it can kill you. Sure. Um, water. And yeah, water's a, <laughs> water's a great example. I mean, you, you, people die from water intoxication. Um, it, it's not drowning. It's actually you drank too much water in your system basically explodes internally um that's not really what happens <laughs> but, <laughs> but but i you know it, it can be fatal um it, it, any 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 substance can be there and this is i always go back to quoting paracelsus one of the famous ancient greek physicians that made famous the the do, the uh, poison is in the dose so you know many paracelsus yeah so many, many poisons, as we talked about earlier with Marcus Aurelius, right, and Galen, mm -hmm. you can um, give poisons in low amounts that won't kill you. Right. But once you hit that amount that will kill you, mm -hmm. uh, 
there's no coming back. Right. So it's, I think, very similar for all substances. Um, and just depends on on exposure. And this is another reason why chronic studies with kratom are needed so much because we don't understand what's happening when tolerance develops, when harm starts to creep in. Um, you know, if people are taking two to five grams two to three times a day, it doesn't seem to be problematic. But I've got, like I told you, people that are telling me 90 grams, 120 grams a day. Mm -hmm. um, that that could potentially be, you know, getting them closer to to a bad situation. There's there's another thing that never gets talked about. Um, although the the FDA had reported this in the past, they had seized a lot of kratom because of heavy metal contaminants. Mm -hmm. um, most of the most of the responsible companies will actually. Um, measure the heavy metals and make sure that you, you know you're getting a, a loud amount of the substance um but that's for that again two to five gram those right. what serving size they recommend on the package um you're not going to exceed lead levels we, we've we've been working with baylor university and fda on the now human abuse potential of kratom leaf and we're starting at eight grams, 12 grams, which was the ending dose of the previous study. And then we're going to 16 grams of material for the highest dose in that study. Um, and we haven't been able to qualify a batch of leaf material that can be safely dosed at 16 grams because of heavy metals. Mm. So if you think about that, and we've talked about people that have been taking 15 grams a day if they're taking five grams of leaf <laughs> you're right. you're you're butting up against the edge of of lead limits in a day according to the fda wow. so so people that are taking greater than 20 grams a day are at risk of of lead um issues and you know, certainly someone who's taking 90 grams or 100 grams of, of kratom in a day is also getting and this would heavy be metal the, toxicity. This is not with the extracts, right? This is only with the leaf? Correct, only with the leaf. Only with the leaf. Only with the leaf. The extracts have, will have the metals. The metals will come out in the process because of the extract process. Yeah. We had this guy in here one day who, uh, before we started the podcast, he took a handful of kratom capsules he was drinking a kratom tall energy drink like twice the size of mine mm. and right before we started recording he took a giant scoop of powder and just downed it in his mouth like and just washed it down with it's a awesome wash he, yeah. he, he literally he he washed down the kratom powder with his kratom energy drink <laughs> i was like whoa wow. bro that's a lot that's, that's intense yeah, yeah. 